so much restriction like that. We are not the effects of war are vivid here. Many homes are destroyed or deserted, and children have often been the victims of the armed conflicts which started in South Sudan in 2013. UNICEF says not only are 400,000 children displaced, but they lack basic requirements from education to shelter, and some are raped and forced to marry. UNICEF says it is doing everything it can. Uh, we're working very hard to get those children back to school and also children who perhaps have never been uh, in school. We have a very low uh, rate of children attending primary school uh, in South Sudan. In fact, I think it's one of the lowest in the world. Uh, so we are working through a program that we call Back to Learning. Some of the children who have lost their parents during South Sudan's conflicts are forced to fend for themselves on the streets. Others, like Christine Adam, are in orphanage like this one, where education is provided. And I, thought, I want to become a doctor so that I can treat the sick and those who get wounded from fighting. Patrick Lapoque runs the orphanage and says more children have arrived since July when fighting erupted in Juba between the opposition forces and the government army. The operation also suffered when World Food Program supplies were stolen. When uh, the WFP uh, warehouse was looted, now we ran for almost two months without food. Until again we had to complain our issue was taken in a special way. That's now when we were given food. So this food you are seeing, they are eating here right now. It is, they have just got it uh, this, 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 uh, this month. Solar system for pumping water for the orphans at this center was stolen during the fighting. The war has affected every sector of South Sudan, with the number of children increasing at the orphanage like this one. Many of these children are hoping peace will return to the country so that they can have a better future. Patrick Oyet, CCTV, Juba, South Sudan.